right, good evening guys and welcome back to a fairly special episode of G's Tight Lines. So you join me back this evening um, in Scotland, I travelled up on Monday, long drive from Cornwall up to Ayrshire. Um, I'm working this week at our Saar base in Preswick. Um, and en route I called through in the Lake District and had a cup of tea and a catch up with Andy from Rigged and Ready. Um, by the way, consequently, happy birthday Andy for today, um, 23 I think, no VAT included. So while I was with Andy, um, he very kindly gave me a few more rods to try out and share with you guys and give them a bit of a trial. So um, you currently are with me on Loch Dune. You might recognise this from some of my previous videos. I am still yet to have a trout out of here and I think this is probably my third or fourth session up here. Only fish I've had out of this entire lock was a perch about that big, which you maybe recall from a previous video. So I am fishing with a new rod which Andy has given me for this um, trip and just to try it out and that's the fish rig. So as you can see it's a very small compact rod and I can see it's going to have a lot of use in a lot of very different applications. One being LRF, two perfect for this sort of work, spinning with 10 gram um, lures and small meps for trout. Now it's a telescopic rod and it's um, a three four piece telescopic rod so we'll start at the butt section we've got this nice carbon blank coming through the handle with the carbon outlay reel winder upper and the cork um, handle so moving up you've got a nice cork finish and a nice matte finish on the blank now i've just had half an hour 20 minutes casting as i walked along the bank and I'm really, really impressed with it. It's really stiff and you can get a good distance on it. Now the thing that I really like about this rod is it comes with two tip sections. And those two tip sections give you two different finished lengths on the rod. So the first, and I'm looking because I can't remember it offhand, is a five to 21 gram. And that gives you a finished length of 1.6 meters. Um, I'm actually fishing with the second one, which gives you a finished length of 1.8 meters and that is the 7 to 28 gram and it's easily identifiable in the fish tube with this finished yellow tip now just running up the rod like i say we've got this nice matte finish nice single leg eyes there for the spinning and really nice whipped and finished and i haven't once yet in 20 minutes half an hour casting the rod had to adjust the position of the eyes it's, it's stayed put which is really i'm really impressed with now I haven't owned and fished with a telescopic rod since I was probably, I don't know, 12 or 13 years old. And if I remember right, it was a Shakespeare Firebird or something similar, probably similar to a Woolworths rod, probably cost the equivalent now of about 19 pound. And it was rubbish. It was like a flexible wire coat hanger. Um, eyes rusted, I think, after the first time of using it. You got caught a blemmy on it and the thing was doubled over. I'm fairly confident that I could land a decent fish on this rod and it would, it would hold its own. So that's the rod. Um, also Andy very kindly gave me this reel. So this is a RR1000. It's the um, smallest in the series of Andy's reels. And it's got a lovely drag system on it. Really positive click. And as you see here on the spool, it's got the rigged and ready logo machine etched in there. And it's a really nice reel. What I like about it is with the finish, it gives it that touch of a pen reel. Um, and it's, I'm really impressed. So I've loaded this up with six pound uh, Maxima Chameleon line all the way through straight down to the, my favorite VMC quick link there. And as you can see, I'm fishing with what I was a Shetlands, which is the 10 gram Zebra Toby. Hadn't had a touch yet, but the wind is not whipping, but it's quite a strong breeze coming over my left shoulder right now so what I'm going to do is head up the lock and fish in some of the more sheltered areas so check it out head to the Red, Rigged and Ready website which I'll put the link in the description of this video again there is a discount code available for G's Tightline subscribers it gives you 10% discount um, my first impressions I'm really impressed so thank you Andy thanks for letting me have the opportunity to try the rod out let's go and see if we can get a bend in it guys thanks for joining me enjoy Lock Doom tight lines. Well, I don't know if you can see guys but I'm stood on this rock ledge 
and um, I've not got my waders on because it's not safe enough here to wade. But there's a real deep ledge that drops off, so I'm just letting that Toby get down and then just working it through. But as we've already discussed, the fish rig is a really nice little rod. I really am quite impressed with it. It casts really well, it's nice and stiff. And let's hope we can put it to the full test and get a fish on it and see what it bends like. Right, I'm going to start head my way up there, up yonder, up towards the dam wall where it's going to be a lot more sheltered, but I need to go via the car and get my spare battery for the GoPro first. Nearly back at the car, got enough power to get me there on the battery, but I also not only need to change the battery, I need to get my bug spray because the midges are starting to come out and they're bloody horrible. If any of you ever experienced midges, you'll know they are the most irritating unpleasant things ever bestowed upon this earth they're bloody horrible i'm all right on the water's edge but as soon as i go near the heather forget it forget it right i'll see you in a second guys tight lines <laughs> around now as you can see I'm by the damn wall I've not even had so much as a sniff but it's a lovely evening I'm out in the fresh air I'm winding from a busy couple of days so a fish would just be a bonus but there's a big but this is perch territory this is where I had that perch from last year so I'm just gonna work the lure along the wall and around this sort of general area and um, Try and get a pull, which would be nice. Fish in the net would be even better. So, just get down here about four and break my neck. A great sign there, danger of death. All right, let's have a cast here. So this is exactly where I caught the perch from last time. See if we can replicate it, eh? Not very picturesque, but it's all right. rumour has it there's some decent pike in here I'm hoping to avoid them being that I'm only fishing on this very light rod and six pound mono Golf ball there. It might even be a pike float, you know.
a fish. Yeah. There you go. What we got? Guess what? Another perch. Yay. Well, how's that for a history repeating itself? <laughs> oh my goodness me. Hello mate. But not a very happy perch, but still an all. See how easy that treble came out because the barbs are crimped in. There we go, there he is. Look at the colour on that. Isn't he beautiful? His pectoral fins. There we go. My second Loch Doom perch. I think he's a bit bigger than the last one. Let's get him back. Come on then. There he goes. Excellent. That's history repeating itself, isn't it? Maybe I should stop trying to catch the perch uh, trout here and just go for the perch. Fantastic. Thank you, perch. You saved another blank. Two years on the trot, you've saved my blanks. I said, didn't I? Perch territory. And again, it was almost exactly the same as the take I'd last year. There was no fud to it. Almost felt like it was snagged. There you go, fish rig doing the business. The proof is in the eating, as they say. That's definitely a float. Let's see if we can't cast onto it. Somebody's definitely been up here piking. You're not going to believe this, guys, but I've managed to snag that pike rig. What's the bloody odds of that? Oh, it's not a pike rig, actually. It's a bubble rig. Right, let's get this sorted out. That's good. That's out of the water. Bloody great big bubble float. Now all wrapped around my MEPS. That's braid as well, that's not going to be easy. There we go, got it. It's not braid, it's really thick mono. Right, let's put my rod down safe. I'll get this in. Someone's been worming, look. Drop shot on a bubble float. Let's get all this line in. There we go. That's a lot of line. Somebody lost so much lime and that was snagged. Just there. Look at that. Well, I'm just glad it's out of the water. No wildlife getting caught up in it. There we go, there's the end. There we go. Well, I know it can't be helped, we all snag. But bloody hell, look at that lot.
fish jumping over there. Right, I'm going to clean this lot up guys and I'll come back to you in a minute. That's a good job well done though, isn't it? Commendable effort, I reckon. Right, that's it guys. I've got that mess cleared up. Um, I'm glad I managed to get that out. It was more luck than judgment that I managed to cast on it, but it's out and it's safe and it's there's nothing going to be getting snarled up in it. Anyway, I'm going to call it quits. I've got a bit of a drive back to the hotel um, and another busy day tomorrow. So thanks for joining me. Um, don't forget guys, rigged and ready. This is the fish rig cracking little rod really is a lovely little rod so if you head I'll just put that down safe head to riggedandready.net um, if you go to the description on G's tight lines you'll see and there's discount code offer you 10% discount on all items on rigged and ready so hop along there have a look and see if you see anything that takes your fancy we fished last night on the Presswick pier but there was nothing showing so I didn't even bother getting the camera out to be fair um, but while we're on the subject, I'd just like to say a big hello and um, lovely to meet you last night to young Callum and his grandfather. Um, really nice little lad into his shooting and his game fishing. So um, thanks for your support, mate, and all the very best of your future fishing and hunting. Cheers. There we go. Guys, thanks for joining me. Please hit the subscribe, please let's like, press like if you like the video, and I will see you um, from the Isle of Lewis off there on Friday. So I've got a nice long drive again up to Ullapool, ferry across, and then the weekend storm away. So plenty of adventures in store. Guys, all the best. Mm -hmm.